Yo, 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 hey guys, Rowan here, and welcome to Wasteland Warrior, episode 86. It, yes, 86. I know I said I was going to end the series at 85. Uh, well, actually, originally 75, then 85. Now I'm extending it to an unspecified amount because I want to finish a lot of the majority of main area stuff, and I'm nowhere close to that. So, also, guys, I messed up. So, I got all of the mission statements, okay, from the dead Brotherhood patrols. I should have left one. I shouldn't have gotten the one at Repcon. Now, I was looking... So, I could go back and undo everything that I've done recently. As we go way back here. Uh, somewhere approximately three, maybe four hours ago to fix that. I'm not so sure about that. I was thinking about doing that because um, what I'm going to miss is basically uh, the quest objectives for Still in the Dark telling me to go to the different places to find the dead Brotherhood patrols. Instead, it's just going to say, turned in all Brotherhood holotapes. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't really have the time I used to have. I'm not as young as I used to be. And I can't go replaying a ton of stuff all the time. So, this is a failure. We've talked about this. I don't know why I'm looking at Arcade and Eddie when I'm talking about this. But, well, I've replayed for some stuff. I have. I've replayed for quite a bit of stuff. And I'm, I'm basically getting sick of redoing things. I want to be done with this game. I love this game, but and I love you guys, but I want to finish. So, is it a failure? You know what? Let me know in the comments. Um, I know I already have made my choice, but just let me know if I'm a failure. Because I need to know. I need to hear it from you guys. So... But I'm, I'm going to accept what I consider to be a failure here. I'm going to talk to him. We're going to do the quest. And I'm going to skip a whole phase of the quest. So it's going to miss the little, little pips in there showing different quest stages. <sighs> I don't like it. Sorry to ramble. Oh, as always, Arcade, my doctor... And Eddie, my main man, my floating toaster who makes no toast. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm, I'm really upset. So, and I'm just sick of redoing things. I just, I can't bring myself to do it. All right, talk to me. When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? I have better things to do. Then that is your choice. If you should change your mind, please return. Have you reconsidered, outsider? I can still use your help. I'll help you. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. See, this is what I get, and I can't do anything about it. 
The less who are aware of this situation, the better. My brothers and sisters were deeply traumatized by the losses we incurred several years ago. It would be imprudent to worry them unduly without first discovering the facts of the situation. Hmm. And see what happens here? This is this is the only choice I then have. Have you reconsidered outsider? Yeah. I only have that choice. I'm so tempted to redo stuff. I... I don't know. I'll be right back. I, I'll make my choice. I don't know what I'm going to choose. But I'm going to choose something. So, see you guys in a little bit. Alright. Well, I have made my decision. I was looking at things and I just can't bring myself to redo anything at this time. I just can't do it. I just can't. I can't. So, before before we do this, let's count our failures. One key, the Atomic Wrangler room key, has been lost. We have lost also one oversized bottle at the NCR prison facility. And now we have lost proper quest projection, pr projection, progression for still in the dark. What have we learned? Do not get all three patrols before coming here. I think if I could have done it again, I would have left the patrol alone over by the boomers. I didn't realize what I was doing, but now we have it documented. We can do better next time if there is a next time, I suppose. But, alright, here's the failure. Have you reconsidered outside? Yes. Let's fail. I suppose I am not surprised. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. But we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. Well, at least I can do this. Have you had any luck finding the scouts? Or did you have something to discuss? Um, not yet. Well, return when you have. Have you had any luck finding the Alright, talk to me. I can spare a little time. What did you want to talk about? Uh, tell me about the lockdown. It's a protective measure that was enacted after our defeat at Helios. The NCR was hot on our heels, and we wouldn't have survived another encounter. It was decided that we would stay quiet for a time, heal the wounded, and try to come up with a new strategy. However, after we had fully recuperated, our first scouting measures showed that the NCR's presence in this region had only increased in our absence. There are now more than five times the number of NCR troops in the area as when we fought them and we have half the number we did at Helios. And so the lockdown has been extended. To go outside would be the death of us all. How do you get supplies? We have some personnel that are allowed to travel on the surface. They trade for what we need and occasionally drop off what they acquire. We make sure that they only enter or leave the bunker while the sandstorm is active, to avoid detection. Clever. So what's with the sandstorm? That is this base's defensive system. It serves as camouflage and masks all entry and exit from the bunker. We use it to hide our patrols and supply runners, though we still send such out at night to be extra safe. All right, see ya. <sighs> well, I'm not happy. Basically, yep, straight to return with the three holotapes. We didn't have any of the you know, go and collect the holotapes. 
I and there was probably some additional information I could have talked to him about the patrols too. Just overall, I'm not a happy person. Hello. And I'll talk. What to is me. it, outsider? Have you discovered anything? Um, I found the patrols for the Elder. They had mission disks. Just as I thought. McNamara gave my men new orders without telling me. The nerve of that man. This little stunt is probably what got them killed in the first place. Our normal patrol routes are known to be relatively safe. This is exactly the kind of thing I'm trying to avoid by ousting McNamara. Um... The Elder tasked me with contacting several scouts out in the Waste. That's a sensible notion. Your familiarity with the nearby terrain makes you perfect as a liaison. I've been trying to get the Elder to send out scouts for years, and he's always been resistant to the idea. Said they'd be a vulnerability. I wonder what changed his mind. Uh, what do you think of the lockdown? It's a travesty is what it is. Every second we sit on our hands down here is another second that we're not fulfilling our sworn duty. And why you dislike McNamara? It's not that I dislike the Elder, but I strongly disapprove of his current style of leadership. We're safe, yes, but at what cost? Well, what would you do if you became Elder? After lifting the lockdown, the first thing I'd do is send scouts out to recon the area. We need to know what's going on out there. Next, I'd resume patrols in the near vicinity, and begin sending search teams out to the spots the scouts reported were relatively safe. It's standard procedure when a chapter relocates to an area. But standard procedure wasn't our last Elder's style, either. Tell me about the last Elder. Elijah was a strange one. His even becoming Elder was highly questionable, seeing as how he was a scribe. Typically only paladins are eligible. But an exception was made in his case on account of him being a genius. Unfortunately, whatever scientific acumen he had didn't extend to tactics. Trying to defend Helios was a blunder of the worst kind. And many brothers lost their lives because of it. Many of the senior paladins, myself included, advised him to fight a retreating action. But he refused to budge. Said he almost had it working. We never did find out exactly what he was talking about. When the perimeter was finally overrun, the Elder had simply vanished. What a coward. Tell me about the battle. Helios was the worst goddamn action I've seen in a long, long career of fighting. Yeah, oh, that's it? That's all you have to say about it? What is it, Outsider? Um... If you must. Okay. Well... I'm... I'm just gonna progress the things and try not think too much about my failures here. I know a lot of you probably don't agree with me that it's a failure, but I see it as one. And it's it's especially compounded every time I mess something up. Yeah, I could replay, you know, those four or five hours, but hello. Ugh. I'm just I'm burnt out on it. To be quite honest with you, I'm enjoying progressing. I don't want to keep going back and forth. Oh, we need to talk to um. Well, let's talk to these people. See if they have anything new to say. Yeah. Nope. And what about you? Yes, what is it? Nope. So, I mean, there really comes a point where you just... You can't keep, you know, redoing the same stuff watched. over and over. Don't get any ideas. If it was, like, two hours, I think I might have done it. But, I don't know. Part of me still wants to redo it, but... I know it's it's really silly because it's not like I can't complete the quest and it, it's hard to explain, guys. I'm a perfectionist. What can you say? You're the one with that robot. I was hoping you'd bring him my way. Pretty impressive piece of hardware. I can't say that I've seen anything quite like him before. Huh. I've heard some information from its log. Sounds like it was carrying some enclave data. Really? What kind of logs? What kind of data does he have on it? Um, let's talk about something else. <laughs> oh, well, if you change your mind, let me know. I have some parts here I can use to upgrade his armor if you leave it with me for a bit. Great, I'd love to take a look at that log data. Um, the log spoke about the Enclave Duraframe research and Poseidon Energy research. Did 
Did you say Poseidon energy? I've been researching some Poseidon projects here. Do you think you could leave your robot with me for a few days? I have some materials that I can use to upgrade his armor while he's here. Nope. Okay, but I'd really like to take a look at him. Remember, I'll be able to give his armor some extra plating while I've got him here. I'll... How may I assist you? I'll think about it. See, now these are the kind of extra pips that I like on my quest logs. Um... Arrgh! Just makes me more upset. Alright. Ah, stressful quest. This will cheer me up. Alright, talk to me, Ibsen. Hopefully you can help cheer me up with your stressful quest. Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell. It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Um... Actually, I've really had better. Um, I've had better. You and me both. The Elder wants this data store operational pronto. But it doesn't look like the damn thing will be working anytime soon. Sorry to hear that. I should be going. Please, don't let me stop you. I know what it's like to have a lot on your mind. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Well. Good. I saved first. Smart of me. Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell. It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Um... Yeah, I'll do that. I've you had and me better. Both. The Elder wants this data store operational pronto. But it doesn't look like the damn thing will be working anytime soon. Uh, why is that? One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. And why aren't there any patrols anymore? Oh, there are patrols. Just not exploratory ones. We've been in a state of lockdown for, well, let's just say it's been a while. The only time anyone gets to go topside is guard duty or to gather provisions. Other than that, it's steel walls and fluorescent lights for us. Oh, yay. Um, why the lockdown? Well, uh, yeah, that's horrible. Sure. Nah, it's not so bad. The world outside isn't exactly a paradise, you know? Still, you can only breathe recirculated air for so long. We've got more than a few people in here who are going a little stir-crazy. Um... What kind of information's in the data store? Oh, all kinds of things. There was already information regarding the layout and systems of this bunker, but we've since added our own data as well. Prior to the lockdown, we had extensively scouted the surrounding area and compiled dossiers on nearby points of interest. Um, yeah, what do you think of Harden trying to get McNamara dismissed? I don't have time to think about silly things like politics right now. My main concern right now is getting this blasted data store up and running. Uh, about the virus. Yes, did you have an idea that might help us? Um, can the virus's files be partitioned so read-only access can be provided to the kernel administrator? I have no idea what any of that means. What? No, that... that's brilliant. It would let us seal a portion of the virus to a particular terminal, even when the other parts move. Uh, what do I need to do? You'll need to locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute. Any longer and it'll jump, and you'll have to start all over. Locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible, but the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish, but we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. When you find terminals with those messages, lock them down and move on. Find three of them before the virus jumps, and we'll wipe the damn thing. Sounds complicated. We'll leave you to it. We'll get it eventually. But it's frustrating that it's taking so long. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna figure out what to do, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Um, perhaps another time. We'll continue our own efforts in the meantime. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Not right now. I suppose I could take a small break. 
but I can only spare a little time. Ask away. Yeah. Okay. Did you want to try isolating the box? Sure. All right. I'll monitor when it jumps. When I give this signal, start checking terminals. Sounds like fun. Yep. This is a fun quest. Hello. Fun, fun, fun. Hey. Hello, outsider. All right, all right, all right. could you... Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. I got this. Okay, tell me. The virus just jumped. Okay. Find which terminals it went to. Okay. Um. Dang it. Okay. No. Okay. All right. I'm going too slow. Okay. Okay. Going too slow. Yep, I'm too slow. Oh, this is never gonna work. Partition. Ten seconds. Kay. Yes, I know, cause I'm. Okay, yes, I'm doing this all wrong. I'm batty. Okay. No. Okay. Yep, we failed. We failed. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know we failed. Damn, it's jumped. Uh, Did you want to try isolating the Yes. I think because I partitioned it, it stays there. Tell me when to go. The okay. virus just jumped. Okay. No. Find which terminals it went to. No, I thought it. Okay, um. Okay. Okay. Um, come on. No. Okay. Come on. No. All right. I got. Oh, no, no. Ten Kay. seconds. Yes, I know. Ten seconds. All right. Chill, bro. Chill. I'm working on this. No. Okay. Dang it. I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. No, no, no. Nope. 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 No. Nope. It's over. It's jumped. I thought we might have had it that time. Ah. Did you want to try isolating? Yes. Hate this quest. <sighs> All right. At least it's doable if you have enough science skill. Without it, it's insane. The virus just jumped. All right, let's do this. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Eddie, no. Bad Eddie. Okay. Okay. No. All right. It's three of them too. No. Of course, it's like none of the ones I check. No. Seriously. How can it just like always be none of them? It's always none. None of the above. Yes, ten seconds already. Ten seconds. Seriously now. Okay. Are you kidding me? I've checked like everything. Everything I tell you. This is not cheering me up. Yes, yes, partition. Okay, yes, that's progress. Okay. Can we get the last one? No problem. Jumped. I thought Dang. we might have had it that time. Okay. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Yes! Let's do it! Okay. Redonkulous, I tell you. Okay, tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. The virus just jumped. Yes, okay. No. Find which terminal to Just don't get in the way, Eddie. Just don't get in the way, Eddie, my man. Okay, no. Okay, did we already get this one? No. Okay. Come on. No. Okay. Are you? No. Alright. You? No. 
Ten seconds. Ah. Uh, all right. No. Okay. Come on. No, that's the one I already did. Okay. Come on. Petition. Okay. That's it. We got it. Ha ha. This has been purged. Ha ha. Skills. Hello, outsider. Okay. You actually did it. If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm glad to be wrong for once. Thank you, my friend. Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? Um, now that the data store is fixed, what do you think of Harden trying to get Manera McNamara dismissed? I can understand how the man might be frustrated by the current situation. He's a take-charge sort of fellow. Standing around's not his strong suit. I myself often wish we could end this interminable stasis and begin moving forward again. Um, how do I get access to more topics in the data store? Well, you'd have to get a senior level member of the chapter to unlock a topic for you. I've given you access to what I can, but that's not much. The majority of topics fall under Ramos's aegis, since they'd constitute a security risk. Good luck getting anything out of him. You might have better luck with another member of the senior staff. Try talking to them about it. Ah! Okay. So, now we can read topics. Huzzah, I guess. Um, access data store. Bunker information. Project goals. The goal of the Hidden Valley Project is to create a self-sustaining shelter for high-ranking VIPs that can serve as a command structure in times of crisis. The bunker itself is located several hundred feet below the surface. Multiple layers of reinforced materials serve to prevent a breach of the inhabitable areas by anything save for a direct hit by a bunker-busting weapon, utilizing a megatonnage considered outside the capability of America's closest competitors. In the event that our, en our enemies become capable of such an attack, the bunker's dervish camouflaging system makes targeting the site impossible for automated system, forcing aggressors to rely on guesswork and sheer luck. All right. The Hidden Valley Bunker relies on two main systems. The Candle Fusion Power System provides power to all bunker systems. Built more for reliability and duration of service, the power output of the system has been exceeded by many current designs. But it can supply the bunker with power for an estimated 752 years. The Dervish Camouflage System provides visual and electronic interference to prevent airborne or long-range enemy weapons from targeting the bunker. The normal soil around Hidden Valley has been supplemented with a combination of aluminum and various silicates, which are then dispersed using a widespread network of industrial fans to blanket the area in a cloud of a, what is essentially chaff. Combined with the electronic countermeasures of the nearby array at Black Mountain, the bunker at Hidden Valley is effectively impossible to target. Very cool. And that's all the information we get right now. Let's see here. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't um, it? Um... Yeah. Good to see you again. No, I don't want to give you any. Um... Let's see. You got anything to say? Yeah. Talk about something okay. else. Okay. Yeah, get out of here. How about you? Yes, what is it? Um... Seriously, does Taggart have, like, nothing useful to do in this game. Watch. The oh, takes a little that easy, part of the quest it? I missed. Probably has to do with Tager. I bet you anything. No, I don't think that has to do anything, but... Arrgh! I'm just making up things to be mad about, so... There you go. What is it, Outsider? Um... All right, I'll be right back. I'm just going to check something. I'm checking to make sure or see what the heck Taggart's purpose is. So, BRB. All right, I'm back. Let's see what I can find out. Um... Pretty sure... Oh, hi. Welcome to the range. Feel free to use any open lane. I'm allowed to use the range? Sure. The Elder's already given the okay. Unfortunately, you'll have to use your own weapons and ammo. Boo! I don't want to use my own weapons and ammo. Um. 
Hey. It's kind of awkward if you stay there. I make it... Oh, God, that would be terrible if she locked the door. And I suddenly couldn't get in. It's not the case, but, um... Evening. Here, get up here, please. Please. Please, please, go back to where you belong. Please, right there. You belong right here, okay? The word came down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares. As if I didn't have other matters on my mind. Uh, show me what you have for sale. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Um... Oh, cool. Ballistic Fist would be pretty cool, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Oh. Uh, anything I can help you with? If you must know, my inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short. Somehow we're missing a laser pistol. Harden will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon. I can't delay my report to him any longer. I could look around for the pistol. If you happen to find it, bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Sure. Have you found it? I need to give my report to Harden soon. Uh, I haven't found it yet. Then we have nothing further to talk about. Alright. Oops, wrong way. Uh, this everything bums me out. I am a sad panda of a Rowan these days. Just such a sad Evening. Rowan. Things need to perk up for me, I swear. I don't like being a sad Rowan anymore. Um, let's see here. Oh, where is the medical bay? Wasn't it right here? Eddie, get out of there. Ah, hi. Hi. Hello, can I help you with something? Um, you have nothing to say, huh? All right, well, fine then. I didn't really want to talk to you anyway. So, there. Um, I don't think there was anything important in this area. Ugh. For a second there, I was scared that Eddie was, like, shooting people, but nope. Okay. It's just the gun range. All right. Talk to me. Your presence here, let's just say it's highly irregular. Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here, let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. He must believe that you'd be very useful. So, you're head of security, huh? That's right. Nothing gets in or out of here without me knowing it. Um, why did I have to deal with that ranger topside? Normally, that would have fallen under my jurisdiction, but the Elder thought it provided good test for you, so I backed off. Uh, what are the rules regarding entering and leaving? Under the lockdown, only essential personnel are permitted to enter or leave. That includes supply runners and high security patrols. All other personnel are forbidden to leave, and any personnel that were out there when the lockdown was enacted are forbidden from returning. Ah, I have other questions. Fine by me. Uh, what would an elder have to do to get kicked out? So, you've been talking to Harden, eh? He's been looking for a way to usurp McNamara ever since the lockdown started. Don't get me wrong, he's a good man. But Elder McNamara has done all right by us. If it weren't for him, none of us would have survived at Helios. I'll tell you what I told Harden. There have been only a few cases of elders being dismissed from their posts in the Brotherhood's history. And those involve crimes that someone like Elder McNamara is just not capable of. You can look it up for yourself if you want. I'll grant you access to that portion of the history section of our data store. See Senior Scribe Ibsen about accessing it. Uh, tell me what happened at Helios. I'm sure someone's told you all this before. Several years back, we were running our chapter out the Helios One solar power station. Our elder at the time, Elijah, had some kind of obsession with the place, which is the only reason we stayed as long as we did. 
That place was hardly defensible, and we knew the NCR was moving in on us, but the Elder refused to budge, insisting that he just needed more time. We never found out what he needed time for. Wave upon wave of NCR troopers hit us from all directions. We held out for a time, but we were grossly outnumbered, and they had more men than we had ammo. Eventually, our positions collapsed. Elder Elijah was nowhere to be found, so McNamara took charge and led what remained of us on a counteroffensive west. We lost a lot of men and women, but we broke through and made it here. Make no mistake, McNamara saved this chapter that day. Wow. Uh, tell me about Elijah. Who was Elijah more like? He was our elder before McNamara. Bright guy, but just between you and me, he was a little off. Our mission is to recover and preserve the technology of the past, but Elijah wanted more. He sought ways to improve upon technology, make it better. When we found Helios 1, he was like a kid in a candy store, he kept talking about the potential and a grand design never realized. He even insisted we set up our base there, against the objection of nearly every paladin. What followed is a whole other story. Ah. Okay. So. We have optional look at the Brotherhood's history files. All right, we can definitely do that. And we'll learn some things, I suppose. Yes, indeedy, we can learn McKay. Oh, he's down for that. Oh, by the way, I haven't pickpocketed or stole anything. When I, um... I found out about my mistake in the quest. I became rather distraught. So, didn't have the heart to steal anything. It's not like the stuff's going anywhere. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll come back and do it later, I suppose. Have you had any luck finding the scouts? Or did you have something to discuss? Okay, that's not what I wanted. I'm in the wrong room. Wrong room indeed. Okay. Access data store. Elder dismissal incidents, huh? Okay, incident one. Let it be recorded that on this day, Raymond Lorne was dismissed from his post as elder for committing the crime of murder. Brother Lorne was known to have hostile feelings toward the victim, senior scribe Ritter, and the guilty party insists that Ritter's death was a tragic case of friendly fire. The bunker was attacked at the time, but the tribunal felt they could not let him persist as elder with such suspicion hanging over him. Be it known that from this day Kenneth Jones shall no longer bear the title of elder. Brother Jones had willfully gone against the chain that binds and has been forced to step down. Head Paladin Lindquist succeeds him as Elder. Let the record show that I have stood witness to the dismissal of David James from the post of Elder. Brother James was charged with destroying an unknown device recovered from a recent expedition. The purpose and function of the device remain unknown, and Brother James has thus far proven unwilling to discuss the matter of anyone. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, so where are we supposed to go? Paladin Ramos about the chains that bind. Alright. Which one's Ramos again? Is that the security guy? Um, I think so. See, now, we want to do all this stuff because I believe this is the only way to unlock those data store entries. Oh, hey there. Yep, Ramos. So, uh, what's the chain that binds? That's an old, old principle that's been around since the Brotherhood was founded. It basically means that you have to obey a superior officer. It's pretty much common sense, but it gets invoked a lot when people get pissy about following orders. If you're curious, I'll give you access to the data store entry on it. You'd probably be the first to read it in years, if not decades. All right, thank you. Very good. Back to the data store. At least we haven't failed this part of the grumble. Anyway. Yes, I am 
bitterly upset. You think I probably should have replayed the four hours. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I don't know. I just don't know. You know, the problem with you wearing power armor, Arcade, is that I keep thinking you're Veronica. I don't know where I'd get that idea. You're being watched. Hello again, my friend. I hope you've been finding the information in the data store useful. Um, I'd like more information available. Um, chain that binds. The chain that binds is the cornerstone of our organization. The rock that supports the great tree of the brotherhood and its myriad of branches. It holds that orders are to flow from high on high down through the ranks. An order from a superior must always be obeyed. That their wisdom may be carried out without hesitation. Orders are to observe the flow and not skip ranks. A superior may only give orders to his direct subordinates and not to those beneath them. In this way, harmony of intent and cohesion of thought is maintained. Um, yep. I see. He done broke the chain that binds. Okay. Well. So the question then is, well, if I return to Harden with this, does he else McNamara? Because... We don't actually want that. That would be bad. Because that's going to mess up things later on. Important things. And I don't like messing things up. So let's see what happens here. Shall we? What is it, Outsider? Have you discovered anything? Uh, do you know anything about the chain that binds? I could hardly call myself Head Paladin if I didn't. It's one of the first things every Initiate learns when they start training. What about it? Um. Okay. Did you know there's a second part to it? Second part? What are you talking about? Never mind. What did you have in mind? Okay. Uh, one of the few times an elder was dismissed was due to it. I could be wrong, but I think that's a dead end. McNamara's always followed orders, and we've been incommunicado since fleeing Helios. Okay. Second part. What are you talking about? Um. Let's see. The question is. If I talk to him about that. Is that going to oust. Hmm. What is it outsider? I don't know. Let's see. It says the superior is not allowed to give orders to a man under his subordinate. Then that means I can cast McNamara down for giving those secret orders to my paladins. Well hmm. done. That's exactly what I was looking for. Um, I don't think that's what I wanted to do. Um, well, I can't dispute that you've earned our gratitude. I'm afraid you're gonna have to be patient. Such a change takes time. Stop back in a few days and we can speak of this. Uh, yeah. So, that's a problem right there. Yeah. Welcome, my friend. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys in a little bit, because that's not what I wanted to do. Alright. Time to do some more stuff here. Um, first off, need to go meet with the one near the NCR. Correctional facility. And... I also... I was looking online... And I found a handy dandy reputation chart. It, well, if the people's, you know, figurings are correct. Uh, getting the Elder ousted gives you four Brotherhood of Steel rep. Whereas leaving the current Elder gives you 12. And you need 30 to reach Idolized. Which... Since, um, when it comes time to launch the missiles, I'm going to launch them at everybody. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll never be able to get idolized. Because stopping the missile launch is what gives you, uh, Brotherhood Rock. Don't mind if I do. Goodbye. Sorry. Sorry, chaps. I don't mean it. It's 
just a test. Uh oh, we could have problem. Because, oh, okay, no, he's right here. I don't have to get near any powder gangers, I don't think. So, let's see here. Also, the question is, can I kill these Brotherhood scouts and not get in trouble? What do you want? And don't try anything funny. Um, I'm wondering what you're doing here. My purpose here is none of your concern. Now leave me be, or I'll be forced to defend myself. Ooh. What do you want? And don't try anything fun. Didn't mean to disturb you, I'll be leaving. See that you do. I'd advise you to avoid the prison over there. It's overrun by barbarians, and the whole place may become a battlefield at any time. Ah! What do you want? Uh, I am the uh, Elder's representative. Are the bears still hunting? You speak truly, for it is unlikely that an outsider would know both the Elder's name and that passphrase. Very well. I've been observing the penal facility there in the distance for some time now, after having followed some rather disturbing rumors. <laughs> Penal. Eventually, the NCR got around to putting the prisoners down, but not until they had wreaked havoc on nearby trade routes. Eventually, the NCR tried to put the prisoners down, but they were overwhelmed by them, and haven't sent troops to the area since. Give this to the Elder. My observations are all within. Perhaps he will have a better idea of what this situation portends. Aha! Uh -huh. Um... But, it's just an item. Ah. Alright, let's see what happens if I kill this guy, shall we? Because I'm in a bad mood, and that sounds amusing. Anything? Really? Really? Maybe nobody cares. Well, I didn't lose the quest. Didn't get any bad rep. Well then, okay. Works for me. Um, Coyote Den looks like a good spot. Don't mind me, coyotes. I'm just here for information. Out of the way! Alright. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Let's let's be going, shall we? Oh, coyotes, coyotes everywhere. And not a drop to drink. I'm not sure why you would drink a coyote, but, um, well, if you could, I wouldn't be able to drink them. Oh, what, what is, what is this? Is that, what is that? Hold up. I must see what goes here. Hmm? Are you a prospector? You are! How quaint. Do you know what we do to prospectors around these parts? Prim has a new sheriff. That should... Yes, it should, actually. You know what will also keep the Potter Gangers away? The lack of your arms? I'm not sure that makes any sense, but... Really? I'm cranky. I'm cranky and feeling mean. So, not a good time to run into me, really. Okay. Um, aha, I see the guy. Alright, we got this. We definitely got this. I'm on my way, hold up. Hold up, good sir, I have this. I have informa- well, actually, you have information for me. 
Not the way around, I suppose. Oh, come on. Hey. I'm here to talk to you. How's it going? Don't take another step if you value your life. For what purpose do you approach me? Uh, what are you doing way up here? That's none of your business. I suggest you head back the way you came. Ooh. Don't take another step. Don't mind me, just passing through. If so, you may wish to go around that town to the south. It's been taken by slavers, and they seem to be waiting for something. Or someone. Uh -huh. Don't take another step. Um, Elder McNamara sent me as his representative, bears hunting, yada yada yada. Strange that the Elder should send an outsider, but I suppose he has his reasons. My observations have mostly focused on the small town to the south of here. It was cruelly attacked, its inhabitants slain nearly to the last. That such an act could occur so far west is nearly unthinkable. The NCR has forces in all directions, and an outpost scant miles west from here. That they have not responded to this violence shows either an unwillingness or inability to properly defend their borders, which is telling. I've collected such musings in this report. Please take it to the Elder. All right. Thank you very much, good sir. And, um, a cheerful goodbye to you as well. So long. Farewell. A Vider Zane goodbye. All right, and now for the last scout. I am a horrible individual. Um, way over here, huh? Hmm. I think this is probably gonna be the easiest one. Okay. And actually, while well, we're here, now that I think about it. We're just going to check something quick. Yes. So, don't mind me. Uh-huh. Yes. Because I'm just checking something. Ah, requires key. I think Hold up, you know, I should really Alright, I'm just gonna I think we're okay to do this Okay uh, Dead money takes you to extremely dangerous area One way journey until your business is finished In normal mode you encounter new traps, enemies, and new companions In hardcore you'll be fighting the environment as well Toxic city that erodes health over time. Companions are more vulnerable, and so are you. Recommended for couriers level 20 plus. Uh, the Sierra Madre awaits. It's been for 200 years. Okay. Okay, we just wanted to read that, because we probably won't get to another chance. Drop box. Okay, let's see what happens if we hack this. Uh, released. Reserves. Rewarded. Okay. Um. Hmm. Allowance replenished, huh? Um. Reverted. Residing. Uh? Huh. Hmm. Record it. Well then. That's no good. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Missions. Require. Alright, well, there we go. Okay. And unlock door. Sure. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew there was... BARG! Oh. 
The game likes to mock me. That's all there is to it. The game likes to mock me. Uh, of course. Of course. Because why... Why wouldn't the game mock and torment me? It, it would be so great if it didn't. But it must. It absolutely must. Um. Okay. Um. I'm not getting anywhere. Um, it could be ED. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Yes, unlock door. Thank you. Alright. And save. Because, heck knows I actually need it. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. Dean's Electronics. I knew there was a skill book involved. Okay, thank you. And we're going to take that skill book. Actually, repair. 74. Boom. 78. Heck to the air. And we are already encumbered. Yay. Vending machine. Unusual looking crafting station. As you approach, lines of tiny holographic items appear on the dispensing tray. Wireframe schematics and lists of consumables the machine can assemble and package for the consumer. There's a slot on the side with a Sierra Madre symbol. The slot does not look part of the original design. Oh, wait. Can I actually... Oh, I've got some Sierra Madre chips. Oh. Very nice. Okay. Brotherhood Foot Locker requires key. Alright, here. Eddie, help. Alright. I knew there was, um, something here, but never bothered to check it after I got my hacking up. But, very cool. I'm definitely very happy about this. Because, skill books. Why just chemistry set? Proper knowledge, you may be able to... There appears to be residue collecting in it. Um, sure. Residue sample. Okay, what did I get? I'm not sure what I got. I have no idea what I got from the residue. Hmm. Now I'm... I'm very, very curious about that. Repair increased. Come on. Residue message. I want to see what the residue is. Come on. Come on, game. Okay, don't fall through. Thank you. Terminal requires key. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Well. What is this residue? Jar of cloud residue. Okay, I'm just going to check into things. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let's see, where is this guy? Right about there? Alright. I assume he's kind of standing on the hill in the middle of nowhere here. Yeah, kind of in between the two factions, it seems. Uh-huh. Where are you hiding? I see your blip on my compass. He is definitely hiding right on over here. Somewhere. Oh yeah. Where are you at? Come on. Show yourself. You can't hide from me forever. Where are you? Hello? Ah, 
Sneaky spot, sir. Very, very sneaky. Approach slowly, stranger. If you have no business with me, then go. Uh, what are you doing here? I have no reason to disclose the purpose of my actions to a stranger. Please leave. Oh, really? Approach slowly, stranger. Guess I'll be going, then. Do that. And take care to avoid the valley to the east, if you know what's good for you. Ooh. Approach slowly, stranger. Um, yeah, report, bears, hunting, yada. Then I am sworn to report. I've been dividing my time between the camps to the north and south of here. One belongs to the NCR, the other to a band of slavers known as Caesar's Legion. I was sure the NCR would quickly win, but that has not happened. Instead, the two sides have reached a stalemate, and only occasionally send skirmishers against one another. If I didn't know better, I'd say neither side is confident enough to push for a full victory. Which seems strange given the NCR's technological edge. In any event, I've recorded my findings in this report. Please deliver it to the Elder. I'm sure he will find the contents most interesting. No, I'm sure he will. Quick now, off with you. The Elder must see that report. Oh, you don't give me orders, young man. In fact, here, I have an order for you. The Elder says die. Um. Um. What just happened? Ah, I can't even jump off the cliff. <sighs> that was. Okay. I'm not even. Okay. Whatever. Okay, um... Ow! Now I fell off the dang... Uh, I don't know what's going on around here. Okay. What?! Game, stop killing Arcade. Seriously. Alright, fine. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Okay? Just, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way, okay? Alright, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We've, we've done things the old-fashioned way before, and we'll do them again. <sighs> Jeez. Criminy. Alright. Well. This has been... What's the word? How do you say? Fun? No, it hasn't. I've failed my quest, getting it optimally perfect. I've had Arcade apparently decide that being chainsawed is the greatest experience of his life. And, yeah, I'm just in a foul mood. So, uh, this just gets better and better. Okay. So, let's talk to you first. Oh, hey there. Um. Okay. Uh, nothing else there. All right. Um, well, I guess we'll, uh, talk to McNamara and turned in... Oh, wait. Actually, I did remember some. Missing laser pistol. Knight Tours wants me to find laser pistols gone missing. First thing I should do is speak to the paladin in charge of the firing range. Kind of an important point. I was actually just going to go where the pistol was because I know where it is. But, um... Yeah. Welcome to the range. Do you know anything about the weapon that's gone missing? Torres must be getting desperate if she's accepting help on this one. I'll tell you what I told her. My records show that Initiate Stanton was the last to check it out, but checked it back in a day later. Okay, Stanton, Stanton, Stanton. Who's Stanton? I don't even know who's Stanton. Oh! Hello. Yes, can I help you? Um... I have to be going. 
Okay, see you around. Aha. Uh -huh. Multiple options. Dang it. Hold up, let me figure out the best one. Alright, I'm back, and of course it was silly. Yes, can I help you? This doesn't even do anything. No, no idea. Sorry. Ah, alright. Yes, can I help you? Yes, you were the last one to check out the missing laser pistol, right? Oh, man. I told Watkins this wasn't going to work. Look, Watkins and I snuck out one day. She said it'd be a training exercise. Said she heard from a guy on one of the patrols that there was a gulch just southeast of here with scorpions in it, and that we had to check it out. There were scorpions out there, all right. We started using them for target practice. But before we knew it, the damn things were all around us. So we made a run for it, and in all the commotion, I dropped my pistol. Watkins keeps urging me to go back and get it, but that's not going to happen. You can go outside, though, can't you? You can return the pistol to Torres and clear this whole thing up for me. Um... Why do the records show it was turned back in? Oh, I sort of altered the records after we got back. That was Watkins' idea, too. That girl is nothing but trouble. Still, I haven't been exiled yet, or worse, assigned to latrine cleaning duty. But I will if you don't help me find that gun. Should probably let you get assigned to latrine cleaning. Can I get you another pistol? I got tons of them. No. Weapon checking protocol includes verifying the serial number of the weapon so a different gun would be noticed. Plus, having a new gun suddenly show up would immediately point to you, being the only outsider around here and all. No, the only way I have out of this is if you help me find that gun. You'll help me, right? Uh, no. Oh man, I am so screwed. Look, if you change your mind, I'd really appreciate it. Fine, fine, fine. I really hope fine. you can find that. Um, could you be more specific about where you dropped it? I'm pretty sure I dropped it when we made our escape. We had been surrounded and had climbed up on this big rock to hold them off. Oh, and I remember seeing a corpse near the rock, too. We never got a chance to check it out, since we were too busy fighting for our lives. Guess we had better luck than whoever that was, huh? I'll better go start looking. Good luck. I really hope you can find that. I'll try my best. Hey, no pressure. I'm just grateful you're willing to help me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's go get the pistol. We're, uh... Just running back and forth, going here and there. Failing quests. Missing keys. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm probably gonna rant on about that for a while. And don't get me started about the glitch. Ooh, now I got myself really mad. <sighs> Dang it, Beseda. Why you do this? Why you do this, Beseda? Seriously. Alright, um... Scorpion Gulch. Let's go. We got this. We got this. Okay, Oh. Okay, up, oh, hold up, hold up, guys. Alright. Hold them off for just a few more seconds here while I loot. Okay. Good news is, I don't think I've got to deal with the waves upon waves of stuff. Aha! Missing laser pistol! That was easy. Gotta love when things actually work out for a change, right? About time. Alright. Oh, and of course, things are about to get... Yep, dusty. At least I got my bearings first. Thank goodness for the small miracles in life. Alright, let's... Let's do this. Alright. I'm here to deliver the pistol. Everyone can be just super grateful, too, about it. Please. Hail me as a conquering hero or something. Make me feel better. Arcade, you're not being helpful. In fact, kind of making me want to chainsaw you again. So just watch it, bub. Alright. 
ready. Got anything else to say? Welcome to the range. Oh, where is the sniveling little dude? Where are you? I want to talk to you before I go there. Our former elder, Elijah, no. was obsessed with new technology. That's um. Hey. Where, where is he? Where did he go, George? Where did he go? He's got to be here somewhere, actually. Um. Hi, are you him? No. 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 What about you? Are you anybody? No. Seriously. Seriously now. Come on. Step up to the plate. Confess. Confess your crimes. I don't know why I need to find him. I just feel like I should talk to him first and say, hey, I got... I really hope you can find that pistol. Okay. You know what? I have the pistol and you have nothing to say. Thank you. You just wasted my and these good folks' time. What a jerk bag. Hi. Have you found it? I need to give my report to Hardin soon. I got it right here. Oh, thank God. Hardin was about to start an inquiry into the whole affair, and more than a few heads would have rolled as a result. Since you helped me, I'll tell you what. I work on some of our busted weapons in my spare time, so I have a few pieces that are kept off the books. Ooh. Here, take this. I hope it comes in handy. I like it. I like Our it. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Brotherhood of Steel look. fame. I like it. Come on, Trout. Thermic Lance. Yep. I didn't get any... Any improvement there. Still considered a neutral. Uh, that's kind of irritating. Well then. Okay. So, I guess next I need to go and talk to the big cheese, tell him that, you know, I did the thing. Bark, bark. I'm a good doggy. Should I talk to Harden first? Yeah, why not? Let's see what he has to say about things. You got anything to say for yourself? What is it, Outsider? Um... Nope. I think once I turn this in, I can no longer make Harden the Elder. Have you had any luck finding the scouts? Or did you have something to discuss? Yes, I did. Here are their reports. Good. Let's take a look. Hmm. If I'm reading this right, it appears that the NCR's grip on this region is nowhere near as firm as I thought. I'll have to review these in detail, but these reports have given me much to think about. Thank you, Outsider. You've become someone I can count on, so I believe I can share something rather confidential with you. Um, yeah, just tell me what you want me to do. I would like you to find the components we need to fix this bunker's air filtration system. I cannot overstate the importance of this task. See Senior Knight Lorenzo for the details. He's the one who brought the matter to my attention, and the only other person who is aware of it. Ah. Back again, I see. I'm still looking for them. Please make all haste in your search. It is imperative that I know the results of his mission. Back again, I see. Okay, um... Well then. Alright. Done is done, I suppose. And I think I can still... Yeah, I can still oust them at this point. Alright. I see, I see. Okay. Well, once it comes down to this mission, we are probably going to want to wrap up the episode. So, let me talk to him. Evening. Oh, hey there. Something I can help you with? Um... Wait. I thought I was supposed to... 
Lorenzo. Dang it. Wrong people. Also, after considering things, honestly, I think I might be better off giving Eddie to um, the followers because he gets really deadly with that laser. And you know what they say, the best defense is a good offense, right? So I think maybe that'll be what I do instead. And I am terrible at navigating this place. <sighs> okay. But point being, I think maybe we'll we'll finish up the episode with uh, getting Eddie sent to go get upgraded. He's not carrying stuff, is he? Sure. Of course he is. We'll um we'll take care of that first. Hey, talk to me quick. Yes, what is it? You got nothing to say, do you? You are such a jerk bag. Filthy, filthy jerk bag. Alright, Lorenzo. Good to see you again. Um, Elder wants me to get components to fix an air filtration system. So now I'm going to have your death on my conscience, too? Great. Um. I should have saved. Uh, what? You think you're the first person the Elders trusted with this? He sent three of our patrols out looking for those components, and they're all dead. I was the one who supplied the Elder with the location of possible sites where we could find the components, so their deaths are my fault. And now it's your turn. Well, don't say you weren't warned. I won't take the blame when you die horribly. But I can tell you're getting impatient. The items I'll need to keep the system running are a differential pressure controller, a reverse pulse cleaner, and several HEPA cartridge filters. At present, my best guess for finding the items would be to search any of the old vaults in the area. Those vaults were usually built much like these military bunkers, even using the same contractors in their constructions at times. I'll mark the vault's locations on your map. Best of luck to you. Aha! Uh -huh. Good to see you! Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components yet? Um... No, I haven't found any of them yet. I don't want to rush you or anything, but time is of the essence. Please try to find those components as soon as you can. Good to see you. Oh. I wanted to ask you some questions. Sure. What about? Nope. Okay, so... Um... We've got Vault 22... Vault 11, huh? Well... Fun stuff. So, next couple episodes are going to be vault diving. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Uh, sounds like fun. Fun, fun, fun. We have a capital not so fun. Alright. Well. This episode is probably getting pretty long. But let's just finish up a few... Quick details. Oh, plus the other thing. It's going to be nice about going into the vaults. More vault suits, which I can turn in and get the old uh, strip reputation all maxed out. Great. It's going to be kind of annoying not being able to get the Brotherhood of Steel maxed out, though. Because I looked, and really, it doesn't look like there's any way for me to do it. Ah. Uh, Okay, Vault 3. Oh, crud. I'm gonna get attacked, ain't I? Looks like break time. Yep. Yep. I knew that was coming. Okay, alright. Please stop killing me. Owie, owie, owie. Okay, ow, ow, ow. Okay. Can we stop getting shot, please? Just for a second. Ugh, seriously. Okay. And you. You need to die as well. Stop it! Okay, thank you. Oh, I am going to be so encumbered. 
best. Ah, this is not the way we wanted to go. I forgot there would be fiends here. I did not think of that at all. Arg. Argity arg arg arg. Well, things happen, I suppose. And we can't really do anything about it. Dang it, can't eat from a goo pile. Rude. Guys just melting people left and right. It's rude. She you guys wouldn't do it. Seriously. Yeah, besides, I think another reason that, uh, oh, yeah, different topic. Uh, change of, change of topic, warning, put on the brakes there, Rowan. Um, basically, I want to give the followers Eddie, because Arcade actually had some sure. things to say about it. Ramen, okay. And I actually tested, uh, Veronica off camera, and she didn't really say nothing. So... I think Veronica doesn't care. That's my only guess, so... Since Veronica doesn't have anything to say about it, I think uh, the followers are probably our best bet. So, there we go. Alright. Munchy, munchy, munchy. All the munchies and crunchies. Ah, kind of slowing me down here. This was not what I intended. I intended to run into the vault, get the item, and go do the thing with Eddie quickly, and call life good, and everything's victorious. But, no. Nope, I cannot have my victories. I am not allowed. Hopefully... Arcade's got some room. You do have room, don't you, Arcade? Please tell me you have room. I'll be very saddened. Sure. Just don't treat me like a pack ramen. Okay, okay, this is gonna be close. It's gonna be so close. Um. I'm not. All right, we made it. Huzzah! Huzzah! And hooray! Okay, let's go get our filter thingy. So, next couple episodes, vault diving. Actually, it'll probably be more like a ton of episodes. Considering every time I've ever done a vault, it usually takes like freaking three, four episodes to finish it off. So, yeah, that will be fun. Uh, I know I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm still lamenting my my loss. My unvictory. Can I sit? Oh. Never did this before. Anyway, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, wait. Eddie. Well, this is my throne. Uh, all right. Seemed like a good place to end the episode. Sorry, I thought I saw hanging grenades. Um, I tell you what, I'll see you guys over at the Old Mormon Fort. Alright, I'm back. Over at the Old Mormon Fort. Let's do this! Alright, first, Julie. Great to see you again. Yes, um, spare supplies. Let's take a rat away. Um... No, I don't want to drop anything off. I want to buy a fixing things, a meeting people, uh, salesman weekly. Sure. Okay. And you. Thank you for coming. Let's talk about that robot. Um. What would you. Yeah, what would you like it for? I've heard through our channels that it has some research that may be related to Enclave and Poseidon energy technology. I'd like to get what I can from it and use that data for the good of humanity. All of humanity. Unlike the Brotherhood. Uh, what are you gonna do of it? First, I'm gonna pull off whatever log data I can. 
Then I'll use some of the tech around here to upgrade its weapon systems. Shouldn't be more than a few days' work. Uh, why don't you want the Brotherhood to have it? The Brotherhood is all about keeping technology to themselves and using what they find to protect themselves. They are isolationist and belligerent. I have no doubt that they plan to use the data for weapons research. Ooh. Can you tell me about the followers, then? There are plenty of people here to talk to you about us and our mission. Let's get to Brass Tacks and talk about that robot. Yeah, let's give it to her. She's gonna help all mankind. And, honestly, the best offense, or best defense is a good offense. And on hardcore, very hard. Honestly, Eddie's probably gonna die to a Deathclaw in two to three hits, let's be honest. So, being able to kill the death claws faster, that may just pay off. Sure. Thank you. I'll get it back to you as soon as I can with the upgraded weapon systems. Alright. Bye, Eddie. Hey. And April's gone from the game. Alas, not somebody I can actually kill. But anyway, guys. Oh, yeah, I took off Arcade's armor because sure. he's not going to be with me too much longer. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comments section below. I'll see you guys next time. So long.